Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be closing out paycheck number three for February. So we are going to jump right on into it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another video. So let's just jump right on into the numbers and see what's going on. So I have my little cheat sheet over here because I had to write some things down to make sure I had the numbers correct. So um, we're going to get into the numbers. So if you are new to my channel, this is my household budget. Me and my husband put money into this household account. And this is what pays for all of our household bills groceries, gas, all of that kind of stuff. And then everything else is left to our private accounts. So for this paycheck, I was budgeting a total of $709.76. If you guys haven't checked out, I did a unstuffing of my cash list not my cash list, of my cash savings challenges. And um, so what happened is that money went back into their respectful places. So you're going to see here that I budgeted 450. I ended up getting 650. I did not have anything. We actually rolled over $162.17. And then for other, which was those um, savings challenges was $236. So we're going to add up all of that. So 650 plus 162.17 plus 236 gives me actually 1048.17 to work with in terms of income for the week. So um, now we're going to look at our bills. So we had our utilities and my utilities ended up coming out at 99.94 and ADT, I paid that with the first check of the month. So I did not need to cover that. So for our bills, we only had $99.94 to cover. So we're gonna subtract that from the income that we had. And that leaves us, leaves us with $948.23. And we're gonna bring this $948.23 down to my cashless envelopes, which I did not budget for this paycheck. So now we're gonna go over to my cashless sinking funds. And this is where some of this money went to, okay? So we had entertainment. We budgeted $25. We ended up putting $66 in here. For transportation, we budgeted $36, and $36 is what it got. Health got $20. Pets ended up getting $10. Personal ended up getting $7. Home ended up getting $103. Miscellaneous ended up getting 12 and savings ended up getting $102. And that total amount came up to $356. So we're going to take this 948.23 minus 150. Nope. Let's clear that. Minus 356 equals 592.23. So it was a good week for our sinking funds because some money went into there, you guys. So now we're going to go down to extra debt. We are not focused on extra debt in our household account. Um, we only have one card, which is our Discover card that needs to be paid off. We have our mortgage, but that's not a huge deal right now. And then we have a water treatment system that we just got. And we will take care of those three things once we've paid off our personal debt. So nothing extra here. And then here we're going to come down to extra savings. So there was some other monies that we had. So for our actual spending account, which is in our cashless envelopes, um, and I wanted to put it in extra savings so I know where the money came from and it wasn't something that like was budgeted. But we put $30 in there. I um, was saving for like baby and that had $20 in there. And then I had completed another savings challenge that had $10. So that $30 went to spending, which is going to be really nice because whenever you guys see um, 
or you probably already saw it, um, I'm having a couple of unbudgeting and we need to get that under control, unbudgeted spending. And then there was my checking buffer and that was getting, or that got $50. So that was $80 altogether. So $592.23 minus 80 equals 512.23 and y'all I am just a little bit confused because maybe I did the numbers wrong over there I think that's what it was y'all I forgot to add 50 dollars here so let's just say plus 50 and we need to add plus 50 here so this gives me 562.23, which is what my actual rollover will be, is 562.23. So the $30, I mean, the $50 stayed in the account. So that's why I added it here because I kind of took it out here. So had to make those two things even. So we are ending out the account at $562.23. I was able to stuff my sinking funds and pay the bills for this period. Keep in mind um, for this checking buffer, y'all, the goal is to get a month ahead so that I don't have to be stressed about when I'm paying my bills. I can get away from the paycheck to paycheck budget and just pay my bills, take out whatever money I need and not have to worry about when things fall because it 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 does get stressful y'all. But this was my paycheck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how your month is going. I would love to know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.